Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome you to episode 20 of Let's Play. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say Diddy Kong Racing for crying out loud. This is Kirby's epic yarn though, and now we're at episode 20, which is kind of a milestone. It's kind of like when a short LP becomes a long LP, sort of. So last time we unlocked this blue whale here, which is kind of scary. I don't know. I've always found like blue whales kind of scary, and I think it like. I don't know, Secret Island, okay. I think my fear, I don't really have like a fear of blue whales, like I'm not like deathly afraid of them or anything, because they are, like people say, they're gentle giants. So, like in my mind, I know that they're not nothing to be afraid of, but in my heart, it's just like scary. And I think it's all rooted in this dream I had, which about like four, maybe five years ago, it was one of the freakiest dreams I've ever had. I think it was after I watched Finding Nemo or something. Ah, oh, which reminds me, I see I should watch that movie again. I haven't seen it in forever. But I was watching I watched that movie and then I like went to bed shortly after. And I had this really kinda strange dream that I was scuba diving or snorkeling or something in this coral reef, and it was all really beautiful and bright and just fantastic. I was alone too. Can I get up there? It doesn't look like I can. Yeah, it was really kind of just, like, serene and peaceful, and I was having an awesome time. How am I supposed to even do this? Oh, yeah, I, go, I guess I go through here behind this. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, but like I'm saying, like I'm trying to say, I'm trying to explain this dream, and I'm just getting caught occupied in the game. But yeah, I tried to, um... Well, I was like doing the snorkeling thing, and all of a sudden I see this hole in the, in like the coral reef or something that I could like swim through. And so me being the curious little bastard that I am, I swam through it. I'm really trying to get that patch up there. I swam through it, and it opened up into this big giant gorge, like this dark blue, like giant abyss. You can't see anything for like forever and I'm just like sitting there and I'm just like in awe and I know not to go any further into it so like I start turning around but halfway through my turn um, halfway through the turnaround I see this giant blue whale like right next to me and the scary thing about it was is that just like the realism of the size of it and how insignificantly small I was next to it was petrifying. It was... Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. It was just one of the s scariest things like I've ever experienced, just like feeling so insignificantly small against this giant behemoth. Like, oh god. Well that's... <laughs> I guess that's a little bit of my story for today. It's not a very interesting story. But it explains why I'm a little afraid of whales, I guess. Alright, we got a treasure rug. Feels feel like you inherited a fortune as you lie on this dazzling rug. It looks like kind of a cheap thing, to be honest. It looks like an a thing made of eggs. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still a little bit sick if you can't tell. This is just one day later. My nose is still all stuffy. Yeah, but whatever. Jeez, did it seriously take me that long to talk about that stupid dream? Like, what? Right. Oh, I still have no idea how I was supposed to get that patch from earlier, I just... That's gonna bug me now, though. Right. Ooh, at least we got the beads up here, that's cool. This is all in all a really strange level. I remember having a pretty tough time with this level, like, when I first went through it. Mostly, like, I remember this part here, very... Oh, crap. No! I just, oh, I'm sailing down at a very slow rate. There we go. Just get it over with and plummet to my doom. Yeah, but this part in particular seemed to give me a lot of trouble. And I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe just maybe this horizontal platforming just gets to me. Because, like, crap. Wow. That was scary. Because normally you're, like, jumping from platform to platform, like, moving up. Sometimes to the side, I guess. Actually, a lot of times to the side. But you never, like, go up and down on those platforms, like... 
don't know, those ladder puzzles are just stupid. They're stupid, that's what they are. Okay, there's gotta be something hidden around here, right? Right. Well, this isn't really hidden, it's just here. Oh, I can go up here. Cool! Ah, that's fun. I love it when they do that. Alright, let's get up here and see what this does. Man, I'm just... Oh, I'm kind of like just out of it today. I don't know why. I've been out of it for a little while now for these past two videos. This video and the last video. Oh, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, sweet. I have a feeling I know exactly what this is going to open up, so I'm just going to go right to it because I saw it earlier. Yeah, it's that fossil right there. That's what's going to open up. I can guarantee it. This felt fossil. <laughs> a fossil made out of felt. Is that a dinosaur in the fetal position, too? That's kind of weird. Whoa! Oh my god. It's a turkey! What? <laughs> That's my turkey impersonation, if you can't tell. Or you got a totem pole. This totem pole sports a few faces you may recognize. Looks like... A waddle do, a waddle d, and that weird flying thing that I don't remember the name of. It's like the flying cherry. God. I think we actually need that totem pole for one of the rooms in, in the apartment complex, though. So it's good that we got that now. Balloons? Balloons. 99 red balloons go by. As I make some red beads appear. That's convenient. Alright, whoa, okay. Don't stand on those things for too long, I guess. Alright. Uh, okay. At least I could still stand on the Waddle Dee's head. That was good. And here's our last treasure, the music disc for Splash Beach. Yeah, because we got the one for Secret Island in Splash Beach. So I guess that makes sense. I don't know why they alternated like that or switched it up, but whatever. Alright. So I gotta get, like, this guy's bow over here. Give me your bow, your fairy bow. And we'll do that. Cool. Alright. Oh, shoot. I think I screwed that up. I think I was supposed to destroy those blocks first. Wow. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, I thought there was a gap below me. Oops. I kind of scared for a second there. A little bit fraidy. Man, I really do sound out of it today, don't I? I don't know. I'm not my usual spunky self. It might have something to do with that 8.36 at night. And you know what? I actually have to record the first part of my new LP, like, right after this, too. So that's gonna be even... Hopefully I'll be at least a little bit more excited for that, because it's the start of a LP. Are these moths? That's what they look like. Alright. Okay. This is kind of weird, but I'll roll with it. I think I remember. I think this is like the part like, oh, cr wow, that was great. I think there's like a bead collecting stage or something here, maybe a hide and seek stage later on. And this is the part that it's like, that they do it in. I don't know, I just seem to remember this place vividly. All these little and, all these little strange areas, like, I don't know, this secret island is really... One of the stranger levels. Alright, there we go. Um. Okay. Yeah, there is a platform there. Okay. For a minute, I couldn't tell if there was a platform there, but lo and behold. And there's our patch. Is that, is that like the only patch that we've gotten this time? That sucks. Oh well, there's beads here. I don't know if I trust myself to go for the. I guess I do, though. Well then. Okay. Oh, at least that wasn't cataclysmic like I thought it would be, or that it could have been. Because I could have just fallen all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom and have to work my way back up. Alright, oh, at least the one patch I got was for that one. But can I time this right now? That's the question. Uh, maybe. Uh, yes, okay, sweet. Sweet, good on me. I did... <laughs> And that knocked me up to gold, too. Thank goodness. Didn't even realize I didn't have that many, that, huh? that many beads. We got a heart patch. You patch your way to my heart. 
Oh, that's lovely. And not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, did anything get unlocked as a result of that? No, like, Beedrick stages or anything? Nothing cool like that? Okay, well, let's just move on then. What does this do? The heart. What? Ooh. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. What the hell was that? Is this... That's like a romance story between Ruto and Jabu Jabu or something. That's what it looks like. Though Ruto's not really a fish, I guess. I don't know, I can't think of any, like, small female fish, though. Deep dive deep. Deep dive deep? That's a really awkward level title, but okay. I will handle it. Deep dive deep, going to the deep abyss. Just like an endless ocean. God, that's a fun game. Endless Ocean, that's an awesome game. It's like you just like go around exploring the sea at free will. I just love those kinds of games where you just explore and find lots of cool stuff. I haven't even found any everything in that game, and I've had it for several years now. It was one of those games that when I heard about it, I really, really wanted to get it. But it actually wasn't out in Canada yet, so I had to wait for that. Actually, I don't think I did wait. I think I ordered it off of eBay. Alright, am I going to be able to kill this guy anytime soon, this electric eel? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, but it was one of those games that I wanted for like a long time, so I eventually had to get it off of eBay. I got it at the same time I got Guitar Hero 3 too, so that was like, I wanted that as much as Endless Ocean at the same time. So I got both of those, and like every day after I ordered them, I checked the mail, just hoping and hoping and hoping, and eventually that day came! The day came! And I went to the mailbox, and I'll never forget this, I went to the mailbox, I opened it up, and I saw the key, like, you know that, like, because they don't let just, for most of the time they don't put just the package in the, in the mailbox, they put it in, like, the parcel compartment at the bottom of the mailbox, or they take it, god damn it, or they take it to the post office and you have to pick it up there. Well, this one, it was, like, in that parcel box at the bottom of the mailbox. So I opened up the mailbox, I saw the key, and it made this sound like, Ooh! Like this, like, really curious sound. But it was, like, excited, too, because I knew what it was. So it was just like, Ooh! It was like, I don't even know. <laughs> I scared myself with it, I was like, what? Oh my god. <sighs> I don't... God, I'll never forget that sound that I make. It was the most ridiculous sound I've ever made. A dangler light. This thoughtful night light goes out when you fall asleep. Wow. They should make real night lights like that. Though I don't think that, like... I don't know if technology will ever be that good. To be able to tell when you're, like, asleep. And turn off a light as a result. Oh my god, what? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh huh. Jeez, now we've got this anglerfish chasing us to, to this serene music. It's kind of strange. Crap. Alright, wow, okay. Oh, man, I was trying- I was, like, telling my story there, and you, you interrupted me, you anglerfish. Well, I guess I was kind of done, so... Ah! No, my beads! Oh, God. Well, I'm not going to get gold on this level, I can assure you of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this and get gold later. God, ooh, the dolphin. The dolphin power up. The dolphin! Here we go. Let's go up. Okay. Wait, am I gonna have to be on land as a dolphin? That's what it looks like. Holy crap, I am! Ah, <laughs> I'm a fish out of water. And boom! Sweet. Boom. Oh! <laughs> God, that's the stupidest sound I made when I did that. Oh my god. Alright, I see a treasure down there. I'm gonna get that. It was like a flagpole or something. Okay, okay, so I can't kill those guys by charging them into them. Note to self. Right, but I can go under here, and this is the mast. Putting this in your room may lead to random bouts of swashbuckling. <laughs> swashbuckling. Seriously. Yeah. 
Now this part, it reminds me even more of Endless Ocean, jeez. And that, like, sunken ship where you can find the Megalodon Shark or whatever it's called. Yeah, Endless Ocean is pretty awesome. I don't know, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting when I first played it, but I got used to it. Oh, I haven't played it in forever, though. I should get back to that. Oh, God. Oh, you stupid eel. Unagi the eel. Uh -uh. Right, whoa. What is with all these eels? They're just... They, wow, they really are Unagi, too, because they have those, like, beads at the end of their tails. Just like Unagi had a star at the end of his tail. Ah! Oh, those blocks are about to crush me very slowly. Right, there's the deep dive deep music. I keep wanting to say deep deep dive when I say that level name, because that just seems like more... It, may, it would make more sense. Alright, so is there another anglerfish that's going to come after me? Yep. And this one's a lot faster, because I'm a lot faster. So it only makes sense. Sweet. Oh, run away, run away, run away. Swim away, I mean. Oh, God. Okay. Shit. Okay, I got away from him. Oh, but there's another one, and I have to go up this time. Jeez, what is this? Like, it's Orca? No, what's that guy's name? The guy in Kirby 64. That stupid whale. The Orca whale. That you have to fight. I forget his name now. Well, whatever. Oh, look at this. Same situation as last time. I got the one patch that actually matters. Oh, I didn't hit it, though. Ow. Not that it would have mattered. Oh, I did hit it. Wow. And I got up to silver. <laughs> That's horrible. Jeez, 17 minutes? Seriously? I haven't even been talking about anything in this video. Wow. I don't know how I managed to stumble through 17 minutes of nothing. I wasn't even talking about the game hardly. The octopus nook patch. The octopus nook. What about the octopus cranny? The octopus granny. Alright, man, look at that smug fish. What's this gonna do? Is it gonna suck the octopus into the nook? Oh. Oh! Okay, it makes an octopus nook. And he can just fit in there. See, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. Octopi don't have any, uh, bones, so they can actually fit through those things. Not like blue whales. Frickin' blue whale. Right, no, don't do that again. Oh, let's see how this octopus is doing. How are you doing, octopod? Oh, I can't get in there. He sealed himself in. Alright, so we unlocked Kapamari, which is the boss of this place, it seems. And I think we're going to have to leave everything that we have left until next time. Because I'm just about at, well, I'm more than out of time here, so. Jeez Louise. Let's get it. Let's get our outro on. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Oregon Matrix and Blowhole the Whale. Signing out. Thank you and good night.